the assembly crisis is said to be a fallout of the rift between the Edo governor, Godwin Obasiki, and the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Adams Oshomole. All the 24 members of the state assembly belong to the APC, but according to allegations, nine of them, prompted by the state governor, hurriedly met at night to inaugurate the House and also elect a speaker. Other lawmakers elect were excluded to prevent Mr. Oshomole's loyalists from taking control of the legislature. Now the House of Representatives is stepping in, adopting the recommendations of its ad hoc committee to investigate the crisis. I invite one of our representatives to give the synopsis of the report. In the National Assembly, we have 360 members, and all of us are formally dressed. It means somebody probably took this oath actually under duress. This, he says, is in line with the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and in the interest of peaceful coexistence. We also felt that there was need for us to have peace in the uh, Edo State House of Assembly. The recommendations was, however, not without a heated debate as some lawmakers held views contrary to the motion. We urge the clerk of the Edo State Assembly to, within the seven days or even three days, reconvene the House for the other members to take their oath of office. The clerk cannot convene the House if the governor does not give him the order. Do have the competence to say that what he did is null and void. My humble answer is no. no. Let us not waste our time on issues that are not issues. Please, can we go for the consent? Recommendation one. If with which you are proceeding is not part of our culture. Two days after the inauguration, and I don't know how you are going to say this. So for that matter, you are ruled out of order. The presiding officer, however, ruled in favor of uh, the motion and the eyes had their way. Plenary resumes on Thursday. From the National Assembly, Grace E.K. Estevan News.